Kia I'd like to add my welcome um, to that of Sir Rob's. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't be with us today. Sustainable seas, I think we're all aware of the objective that was set for us by Cabinet. Enhance the utilisation of marine resources within biological uh, and environmental constraints. So we have an imperative of a strong eco economy and a strong, healthy ecosystems. That brings us to having healthy ecosystems and a strong blue economy. And that's not just the marine economy, that's about working with nature, it's about sustainability, it's about livelihoods, it's about local economy. If we have strong and healthy ecosystems, that supports a blue economy. And if we have a strong blue economy, that in turn supports healthy ecosystems. And as Sir Rob said, that gives us ecosystem-based management. So all the research that's being undertaken by the challenge is to move us from the management we have today, which tends to focus on fishing here, aquaculture over there, a discharge here, um, other activities, and doesn't think about that holistic approach. Deals with one activity at a time, one stressor at a time. Ecosystem-based management is about bringing all that together. And we're going to hear more after morning tea about um, what we consider in the challenge as ecosystem-based management and how we've developed that with the community. As Sir Rob said, we have a very large team and I feel very proud and privileged to lead that team. The leadership team, our researchers, and I think we have a large proportion of our researchers here today. I have an incredibly supportive board who are very active and you'll see many of our board members here today. Our stakeholder panel and our kahui Māori who act as advisors not only to the leadership team but also to the board. They play a very active role. We have our technical advisory groups. That's where we get technical to technical interactions and a number of people from the uh, technical advisory groups from each of the programs are here today. Our independent science panel, panel of international scientists who um, not only peer review our proposals, but oversee the science and look at the quality of the science, look at the composition of the science we're doing, and provide excellent advice to the, to the board and to the leadership team. So you can see this family is very large. We have our Marian stakeholders, many of whom are here today. Without you, the Sustainable Seas Challenge doesn't work. We really need, as Sir Rob said, to have that interaction and hopefully we're going to get that over the next two days. And we also have our collaborating parties. Those are the groups that are providing research that sits alongside the challenge. That's the aligned funding where we have research that complements and adds to that that's being funded by the challenge. It's a big family um, and a fantastic family. As an overview, um, many of you know we had 30, 31 million in the first five years. We've got just over 220 researchers. And that's a very wide range of expertise. We bring together the biophysical, the social scientists, including the economists, people with expertise in policy, expertise in Mataranga Māori and local knowledge. All of them coming together in interdisciplinary teams. And this is where the strength of the challenge is. It's in bringing the best teams of researchers together in New Zealand and also bringing those interdisciplinary teams together. And we're going to see significantly more of that in phase two. Those best teams, we've got researchers from 36 organisations throughout New Zealand. So a very wide range of organisations involved. And that's all coming together in 40 projects. And you're going to hear about or see, or see posters about all of those projects over the next two days. In terms of our conference, we have taken the research in phase one and looked at forward into the themes that have been outlined in our strategy for phase two, lining up the research and in indicating how it will flow through and form the basis of the work in phase two. So our first session is on enabling EBM, the second on developing a sustainable blue economy. 
and the third later today around developing EBM decision making tools. Later this afternoon we're going to have a session for Māori and stakeholders and there'll be a significant um, more a higher number of people joining us at 4.15 for that session. And following that, um, we're going to have a session with posters, uh, tools and models that people can have a play with downstairs. Um, and the SciArt, and I'll just, um, the SciArt exhibition, we have a number of art projects involved in, in some of our research projects are in the room just behind us. Tuesday we have um, two theme sessions, understanding did degradation and recovery and addressing risk and uncertainty. Again, two themes that uh, come through in the strategy for phase two. We're going to have an extended lunchtime tomorrow so that people can uh, look at the posters, the tools and the sci art. And then tomorrow afternoon we're going to have a session around phase two. We'll give you an outline of the strategy for phase two go into it in much more depth than we're going to this afternoon in the session then, and then open that up for discussion in terms of how we're going to go forward, um, assuming the Minister is going to give us good news next week about the funding for Phase 2. Wednesday, uh, we've got research workshops. The first of those is focused on synthesis. As we said, we've got lots of multidisciplinary programs, but how do we bring those together to get greater than the sum of the parts? That synthesis across projects and programs is really important. So we're going to have a session um, for researchers on that and Chloe is going to give you the information on how to propose those synthesis topics that will become the focus of the discussion on Wednesday morning. Vision Mataranga is a very important part of our research and, and research throughout New Zealand. Uh, there's going to be a workshop on how to include Vision Mataranga in our research. Um, that's being led by Na uh, Tan Hikaraa from Napai. For those of you like me who um, really don't do social media, um, opportunity for you to learn. Uh, there's two sessions that people have signed up for around social media. And at the end of Wednesday, we will have a project leaders meeting um, just to really look forward in terms of getting all our projects um, finished by the end of June next year and the sorts of things that we need to be thinking about to do that. The conference is about sharing research and knowledge. There will be people in the room that you don't know. It's about building relationships. As Sir Rob said, Success for the challenge will be ecosystem-based management being implemented in New Zealand. As researchers, we don't achieve that. We need to work with central regional government, communities, and in partnership with Māori to achieve that. So it's about building relationships for everybody here today. And it's about talking to the people you don't know. I challenge all of you to talk to five people you don't know each day of the conference. Build those relationships, build those linkages, because that's what's going to lead to the success of the challenge. And I will ask you at the end of the day how many you've talked to.